What we're going to do now is show you how to grade assignments that have already been uploaded. So what this is assuming is that you've already created an advanced uploading of files assignment and that students, at least one student, has already uploaded a file to you for review. So if that's the case, what we're going to do is click on the link for the appropriate assignment. And this is the screen, as we know, that shows you when it's available from and until, and it gives you the descriptions. This isn't where you're going to find the files the students have been uploading. What you're going to want to do for that is go to the upper right, and there's a link that in this case says View One Submitted Assignment. Uh, what that'll do is tell you exactly how many students have submitted files for you uh, to review, how many assignments they've submitted. So if you click on that link, what you're going to do is be taken to a screen where you have a list of all the students in your class and the area where you can provide a grade right here and some comments. Now, there's a couple ways that you can do this. Um, right now I have uh, quick grading turned on. If you notice to the right it says allow quick grading and that that is uh, checked. That's going to let me give a grade um, right here on this screen. The other way to do a grade is uh, you can go to this grade link right here and that's going to open up a new window where you can go in and uh, provide very detailed feedback. Now what you would do is um, for this method we're going to click the grade link it opens up this window and what you would do is first go in and save download and save the the file that they've uploaded in this case it's a PowerPoint. So you can do that by either clicking on the file or right clicking and go to save link as. Um, either one of those are going to be fine for you to download it. So what we're going to do is pretend like I've downloaded this file, I've gone through it, I've read it, and I'm ready to give them a grade. So in the upper right hand corner what you can do is give them a grade. So I'll say this was a very good file, I'll give it a 99. I'll tell Bill that I liked his work. You can provide again as much information here as you would like. And if you're using the advanced uploading of files, what you can do is go down here and provide that file back to the uh, student with any sort of comments that you may have embedded directly in that document. So here you just browse for the file and upload the file. Now when you're done, what you want to do is uh, hit Save Changes. And what will happen is you'll return back to this previous screen that shows you all the files that have been uploaded and you'll notice that the grade has been updated and the comments have been uh, entered here. So that's how you can grade a file that's been, uh, been uploaded. I also want to talk about the quick grading. If quick grading is turned on, you have the ability to just go down the line and provide everyone with a grade without having to go to this uh, grade link, uh, the, the grade link right over here to the right. So this is nice if you've downloaded all the files and you know exactly uh, what grades you're going to want to give. And it's also nice because if a student didn't manage to get the file uploaded using the Moodle tool, you can still give them a grade. So I'll demonstrate that by, um, I've added myself as a student and I can uh, give myself a 90 and say, we lost 10 points for not using the assignment tool. And when you're done uh, entering grades using the quick grade tool, what you're going to want to do is hit save all my feedback. And what's nice is uh, if you have send notification emails checked, the students can get an email letting them know that new grades are available. And these grades have automatically been entered into their gradebook.